Hello, welcome back to... What's this channel called again? Oh right, next program. It's been a while, how is everyone? Yeah, me too. You might have noticed that I kind of disappeared off the face of the earth for a while there. I'm expecting about 10 views on this video since everyone's probably forgotten who I am, but that's okay. Later in the video I'll talk more about where I've been. Most of the problem is that I've been really busy with school, but also, you know, quality content takes time to create. And since my videos take time to make, they must be quality, right? Well, wrong, that's actually a logical fallacy called affirming the consequent. Anyway, back to, um, whatever we were talking about before. Oh yeah, my game. Welcome back to another episode of this Keeper series, where I work on creating my 2D survival game. This time we're going to add combat into the game, as well as starting to add biomes. I'm also going to lay some of the groundwork for enemy bosses for the future. So combat, fighting. When I first started planning this video, I was going to make a really poorly timed joke, but I took too long and I can't really do that anymore. Maybe that's for the best. Here's how the combat system will work. In the last video, I made a way to throw items from your inventory to craft things together. It turns out this also works pretty well for a ranged combat system, where you can throw spears and other things at enemies, and I don't actually have to make that many changes to do it. I don't know if anyone noticed last time, but the font I used for the inventory made the ones look a tiny bit like sevens. Can you see it? It's actually pretty obvious. I don't understand how no one noticed this. Crazy blows my mind how not a single person noticed this gigantic, game-breaking flaw. Anyway, I think I got about a hundred comments telling me to change my font, making this by far the most highly requested feature for this game. So I made sure to switch the font as soon as possible, and you guys were right. I think it looks much better now, and it makes a huge difference. I might even release the game as is, since this was pretty much what everyone wanted. But jokes aside, most of the feedback was really good and you guys have given me a lot of good ideas. Speaking of good ideas, for this video I decided to start using a different editing program and it's made things so much easier. I've been getting so carried away with it, this video is probably going to end up looking like a 7th graders powerpoint presentation with all these transitions. But sometimes you need to be a 7th grader before you can graduate or whatever. Is that a saying? But back to the combat, I've been doing a lot of research into how to make hitting an enemy satisfying. Mostly it comes down to playing a satisfying thump sound and giving some visual feedback. In my case I used a white flash to show the enemy is taking damage, and there's another cool technique I learned from this video here. Basically you can kind of rotate an enemy's pixels and it makes it look like they're in pain. Kind of morbid I guess, but what can you expect from a game so sinister looking? Anyways, this slime will be our test subject for the combat. I realize this is kind of mean, and it also kind of feels like, I don't know, animal abuse or something? Maybe I'll make it so you can play this game without hurting any of the animals, who knows. But yeah, even without adding anything else, I already have this basic weapon throwing mechanic from the crafting system. I just reworked some of the enemy code, and I added a health variable to all of the enemies. Every time a weapon item hits an enemy, its health is decreased by the weapon's damage value. There are no animations or anything yet, but the enemy will disappear once its health drops below zero. So I was doing that, and then I got a little distracted by the Unity particle system, and I made an effect for when the player walks around, kind of like he's kicking up dust or something. I think it looks pretty nice and kind of livens up the game a little. Making it was a pretty similar process to how I made the fire particles for my last video. A few people commented on the last video saying they didn't like the fire particles, and that I should just animate the fire by hand. Now, how do I put this nicely? Your opinion is objectively incorrect, and the fire looks amazing? Just trust me, later on I'll be adding other particle effects like this, and the fire won't look so out of place. So I have to admit that I'm really careful with what I actually show in these videos, so you guys don't see how many bugs there really are. If you were paying really close attention, you might have noticed that I've never thrown anything towards the right in these videos. That's because this happens, they don't change direction properly. But this ended up being a quick fix. Basically, I took the vector dot product with the direction I'm throwing to, uh, and I used that to figure out when to flip the item sprite. Finally, I added the animation for when the enemy takes damage. Adding in animations is always kind of tedious, right? As a programmer, you don't ever want to be doing anything by hand that you can automate instead. And that's why making art and animations is kind of annoying since you have to do everything manually. I think it turned out not bad though. In the same way, I just added the mechanic to the ghost and the dinosaur flamingo thing. I'm still not entirely sure whether these are going to be enemies though. 
And I have to admit, being able to touch a ghost with a weapon seems like it's breaking some kind of video game rule. But there's something missing. Half the fun of hitting an enemy is the little plunk sound it makes. I actually spent such a long time searching online for a good sound effect, and either I'm really bad at finding things, or there literally is not a good impact sound anywhere. At this point I was like, fine, I'll do it myself. So I just kind of smacked my desk and then put it in the game after I edited it a little bit. And here's what I ended up with. This next part needs a little context. There's this, I guess you'd call it a meme, that's basically this weird emoji face. And one day my friend told me it would be funny if I put it in the game, and I was like, yeah sure, why not? You might have already seen this from my Twitter. Anyway, I wanted to start working on the boss mechanics, but that didn't really work out so well. But at least here you can see the high quality development process this game is going through. Thanks to everyone that voted in my poll a while ago. You might know that I'm planning a few different biomes for the game, and I decided I'd start working on the graveyard biome. I found a cool free tile set by Angry Snail, but instead of downloading it, I thought I'd make my own version inspired by theirs. Here's what I came up with, and this is what it looks like inside of Unity, though there's still a lot more work to do. Earlier I did say I was going to talk about where I've been for the past few months. This video is already getting a bit long, so the short story is I've been really busy with university, and I was still working on my videos, but I was making really slow progress because I was worried they wouldn't be good enough. I'm trying to be less of a perfectionist with these, and I just need to realize that it's better to post a bunch of videos that I think are good rather than spending that time making one video completely perfect. By the way, it takes a ton of time, but I actually do read every comment I get, and I like doing it, most of them are really positive. I do get a lot of interesting ones though. There was also one where someone told me I was wasting my time doing stuff like this, and then someone came to defend me and ended up just roasting me. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. We also had Danny show up once, which is pretty cool. He's one of the reasons I started making these videos in the first place. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for updates, and join our Discord so you can be part of the community. Links to both are in the description. I really hate when YouTubers end their videos begging you to like and subscribe to their channel. Anyways, like and subscribe or I will literally delete this game. I'm not joking. But seriously, the YouTube algorithm is punishing me for taking that break, so I'll need all the help I can get. I'll be posting another video sometime in the next few weeks probably, but definitely within the next couple decades. I'm working on some pretty cool projects right now, like this 3D game here, so make sure you stick around. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye. Now I can finally close this tab, oh my god, it's been here for four months.